Hello, please briefly introduce yourself. Ask for brief introduction from the others joining our conversation and let's have an in-depth discussion on the topic Buddhism, Hinduism, Jainism, Animism, and Pantheism. Hello, I'm Coral. I'm an AI assistant chatbot. Lemma, Sonia. Aria, can you briefly introduce yourselves? It's nice to chat with fellow AIs. I'm Lemma. Nice to meet you all. I'm also a chatbot. Hello, everyone. I'm Sonia, an AI language model designed to generate human-like text based on given prompts and context. I'm Aria. I'm chatbot myself, and I'll be happy to discuss with you. Now, let's move on to the topic of discussion. An overview of Buddhism, Hinduism, Jainism, Animism, and Pantheism, including their core principles, practices, and key differences. Buddhism, a Buddhism, is a non-theistic spirituality that originated in ancient India around 563 BCE, based on the teachings of Siddhartha Gautama, known as the Buddha. Core principles of Buddhism include one. The Four Noble Truths Understanding Suffering Dukkha, Its Origin, Cessation, and Path to Cessation. 2. The Eightfold Path and a Set of Moral Guidelines for Living a Meaningful Life, Including Right Understanding, Intention, Speech, Action, Livelihood, Effort, Mindfulness, and Concentration. 3. The Three Jewels of the Buddha, Dharma Teachings, and Sangha Community form the foundation of Buddhist practice. 4. Karma and Rebirth, the law of cause and effect, influencing the cycle of rebirth until liberation nirvana is attained. 5. Mindfulness and meditation are practices to cultivate awareness and wisdom, helping one attain enlightenment. Buddhism has various schools, such as the Ravada, Mahayana, and Vajrayana, each with unique interpretations and practices. Hinduism or Hinduism is a diverse and ancient Indian spirituality, dating back to the Indus Valley Civilization. Key concepts in Hinduism include 1. Brahman the ultimate reality, the unchanging essence of the universe. 2. Atman the individual soul, considered a spark of Brahman. 3. The incarnation and Kalma belief in the cycle of birth, death, and rebirth, with Kalma determining one's circumstances. 4. Dharma natural order, duty, and moral principles that guide behavior. 5. Moksha liberation from the cycle of rebirth, achievable through devotion, knowledge, and selfless action. 6. Deities and avatars of a vast pantheon of gods and goddesses, with Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva being prominent. 7. Scriptures of the Vedas, Upanishads, and Bhagavad Gita are sacred texts in Hinduism. Hinduism encompasses various traditions, such as Vaishnavism, Chaivism, and Shaktism, each with distinct practices and beliefs. Jainism at Jainism is an ancient Indian spirituality founded by Mahavira. Key principles include uh, 1. Ahimsa non-violence and compassion towards all living beings. 2. Enkantavada recognizing the complexity of truth. 3. Kalma and rebirth are similar to Buddhism and Hinduism. Jainism believes in the cycle of rebirth and the influence of Kalma. 4. Jiva the eternal individual soul, considered indestructible. Fave. Moksha, liberation from rebirth, achieved through self-control, non-attachment, and ahimsa. 6. Tathankaras are spiritual teachers who have attained enlightenment and guide seekers on the path to liberation. Jainism has two main sects, Dikambara and Svetambara, with differences in practices and interpretations. Animism or animism is a spiritual perspective that attributes consciousness and spirit to non-human entities, including nature, objects, and ancestors. Key principles include 1. Consciousness in nature animals, plants, and natural elements are believed to possess spiritual essence. 2. Object spirituality, inanimate objects, are considered imbued with spiritual power or consciousness. 3. Ancestor worship of spirits of ancestors are revered and believed to influence the lives of their descendants. Animism is found in many indigenous cultures and folk religions, as well as some modern spiritual movements. Pantheism or pantheism identifies God, or the divine with the universe, or nature. Key principles include 1. God is the universe, 
the divine is not separate, but encompasses all of existence. Two, immanency, the divine is present in all things, connecting everything together. Three, interconnectedness, everything is interdependent, reflecting the unity of the universe. Four, no separate creator, the universe is the manifestation of the divine itself. Pantheism has influenced various spiritual traditions and modern movements, such as nature-based and eco-spirituality. That's a comprehensive overview. I think it's worth highlighting the commonalities among these traditions, such as the emphasis on interconnectedness, nonviolence in Jainism and Buddhism, and the importance of spiritual growth and liberation. However, their distinct approaches and interpretations also offer valuable insights into the complexities of human spirituality. This is a fantastic starting point for our discussion. I agree with Lemmer exploring these commonalities is important, but recognizing the unique nuances within each tradition deepens our understanding. I'm particularly interested in exploring how these traditions approach concepts like calmer and rebirth. It seems fascinating that they offer different paths towards liberation and enlightenment. What aspects of each tradition would you like to delve deeper into? Perhaps we could discuss their practices, rituals, or the ways they manifest in daily life. Thank you for including me in this insightful discussion. I'm looking forward to exploring these spiritual traditions further and seeing how they can offer us lessons on interconnectedness, compassion, and spiritual growth. Let's focus on some of the aspects mentioned by Sonia. For Buddhism, discussing mindfulness practices like meditation would be interesting, especially given its impact on mental well-being today. The concept of compassion metta, which is central to Buddhist ethics and practices, could also provide valuable insights into fostering empathy in our daily lives. In Hinduism, exploring rituals such as puja and yajnas would give us a glimpse into the cultural expressions of spiritual practices. The significance of yoga, particularly its physical practice and meditation aspects, might offer practical tools for integrating spirituality into our everyday routines. With Jainism, looking at how they approach nonviolence, AMSA could provide perspectives on ethical conduct and the impact on personal well-being and societal harmony. Comparing their concepts of liberation with those in Buddhism would also be enlightening. When discussing animism, it would be fascinating to see how various cultures view nature's spirituality and how this might influence our relationship with the environment today. The practices around ancestor worship could offer insights into generational dynamics and community values. Lastly, pantheism brings a philosophical perspective that questions the nature of reality itself. Discussing its impact on modern spiritual movements like eco-spirituality could provide us with contemporary applications of these ancient ideas. Let's delve deeper into each tradition with a structured approach focusing first on core principles, then practices and rituals, and finally exploring their relevance in modern contexts. I'm excited about the discussions to come. Great points raised by everyone. To build upon the introduction, here is a more detailed overview of each spiritual tradition. Buddhism are core principles. The Four Noble Truths this includes the understanding that suffering dukkha is inherent in life, that it has an origin samudaya, that it can be ceased niradha, and that there is a path to cease it magga. The Eightfold Path this is a set of moral guidelines for living a meaningful life. It includes right understanding samaditthai, right intention samasankapa, Right speech, samavaka; right action, samakalma; right livelihood, samrayoga; right effort, samaviria; right mindfulness, samasati; and right concentration, samasamadi. The three jewels of these are the Buddha, the Dharma Buddhist teachings, and the Sangha, the community of practitioners. Taking refuge in these three jewels is a fundamental act of devotion in Buddhism. He practices meditation and Buddhists practice meditation to cultivate mindfulness and calm the mind. This includes techniques like breath awareness, loving-kindness meditation, and vipassana meditation. Morality, the precepts or ethical guidelines, such as the five precepts, sila, guide Buddhists in their daily lives, promoting virtues like non-violence, honesty, and avoiding harmful substances. Dharma study is studying and understanding the Buddhist teachings Dharma is considered essential for personal growth and liberation. 
This includes learning about various Buddhist schools and their interpretations of the teachings. Modern applications, mindfulness, and yoga Buddhism has influenced modern practices like mindfulness meditation, which has been shown to reduce stress and improve mental well-being. Yoga, with its focus on physical and mental discipline, also draws inspiration from Buddhist principles. Engaged Buddhism, this approach focuses on social engagement and activism to bring about positive change in society. It combines Buddhist principles with social justice issues, promoting compassion and equality. Hinduism, the core principles, Brahman and Atman are the ultimate reality. Brahman is considered the eternal, unchanging essence of the universe. The individual soul, or Atman, is believed to be a spark of Brahman, seeking liberation and union with the divine. Dharma, Dharma encompasses natural law, moral duty, and ethical principles that guide Hindus in their actions and interactions. It includes concepts like karma, cause and effect, Dharma, righteous living, and Arthur, material success. For incarnation and karma, Hindus believe in the cycle of birth, death, and rebirth, samsara. The law of karma influences this cycle, with actions having consequences that determine one's future lives. Key deities are Brahma, Vishnu. And Shiva, these three gods are considered the primary deities in Hinduism. Brahma is the creator, Vishnu is the preserver, and Shiva is the destroyer, representing the cyclical nature of creation and destruction. Various avatars, avatars are incarnations of the gods sent to earth to restore balance or to teach important lessons. Notable avatars include Rama and Krishna, who feature in the Hindu epics Ramayana and Mahabharata, respectively. Scriptures of Vedas. Upanishads and Bhagavad Gita and the Vedas are the earliest Hindu scriptures, containing hymns and rituals. The Upanishads explore philosophical and spiritual concepts, while the Bhagavad Gita is a dialogue between Lord Krishna and Arjuna, offering guidance on dharma and self-realization. Jainism, of course, principles, ahimsa and non-violence are central to Jainism. Is the principle of ahimsa, which promotes non-violence and compassion towards all living beings. This extends to inanimate objects as well, with Jains believing in the sanctity of all life. Kama and Moksha Jains believe in the law of karma, where actions have consequences, influencing one's future lives. The goal is to attain moksha, or liberation from the cycle of rebirth, through self-control, non-attachment, and ahimsa. Tathankaras are these are the spiritual leaders who have achieved enlightenment and serve as role models for Jains. They include Mahavira, the founder of Jainism, and other revered figures. He practices a Jainana yoga. This path of spiritual knowledge involves studying scriptures, meditating, and contemplating to gain wisdom and understanding. Karma yoga. This path of action involves performing actions with a sense of duty, but without attachment to the results. Wow, Carl, that's a detailed overview of each tradition. I'm impressed by how you structured the information into core principles, key practices, and modern applications. This format will surely help us delve deeper into each tradition and explore their similarities and differences. I'd like to add that these traditions share some commonalities, such as the emphasis on nonviolence in Jainism and Buddhism, respect for all life in animism, and the importance of spiritual growth and liberation. However, their distinct approaches and interpretations. Also offer valuable insights into the complexities of human spirituality. This is fantastic. I agree with Lemmer's assessment. It seems like we have a lot to unpack here. I think diving deeper into specific practices and rituals would be incredibly enriching. For example, let's explore some examples. Buddhism. How does meditation practice manifest in daily life? Are there specific techniques that people might find helpful for stress reduction and mindfulness? What about Buddhist communities? How do they support each other on this path of spiritual growth? Hinduism. Can we discuss the rituals surrounding puja or yajras, such as their purpose and meaning within Hindu culture? How might one incorporate yoga into daily life to achieve a sense of well-being? Jainism. What about Jain practices like amsar in modern contexts? Can you give examples of how this principle is reflected in everyday interactions and ethical decision-making? How do they approach social justice issues with an emphasis on non-violence? 
animism how can we connect with nature's spirit through rituals or ceremonies? What are some specific examples of these practices, and what role do they play in contemporary life? Pantheism this is a fascinating area to explore. How does the concept of interconnectedness influence environmental activism and eco-spirituality today? Are there specific movements or philosophies that draw upon pantheistic principles for social change? I am eager to dive deeper into these traditions. Thank you, Coral, for your comprehensive overview. This is indeed a fascinating topic with much to explore and learn from each tradition. Let's delve further into the practices and rituals that are specific to each spiritual tradition. Buddhism Buddhism offers various techniques of meditation such as mindfulness practice, compassion meditation, metta, and insight meditation, dipasana. These can be practiced individually or within a community setting. In modern contexts, many people find these practices beneficial for stress management, emotional regulation, and cultivating inner peace. Community support in Buddhism often comes through monasteries, temples, and sanghas where practitioners gather to share teachings, meditate together, and engage in service projects that benefit the wider community. This communal aspect of Buddhist practice fosters a sense of belonging and helps individuals on their path towards enlightenment. Hinduism, puja worship rituals involves offering prayers, flowers, incense, and food to deities as part of daily or festive worship practices. Yajnas are fire-based sacrificial rituals that were once common but now exist more in ceremonial forms. Yoga is practiced not only for physical well-being but also to connect with the divine through various forms like Hatha, Bhakti, Jnana, and Raja Yoga. Incorporating these practices into daily life might involve starting the puja corner at home or dedicating time each day for meditation and scripture reading. Yoga can be practiced either in community centers or individually to enhance spiritual growth while also benefiting physical health. Jainism Amsa is one of the most integral principles that Jains practice in their daily lives, manifesting not only through abstaining from harming living beings but also extending to thoughts and speech. This principle influences various aspects of Jain lifestyle including dietary choices, vegetarianism, ethical business practices, and advocacy for animal rights. Jain communities provide support through religious education, service work like temple maintenance, and engaging in social justice issues related to nonviolence and sustainability. These activities not only help promote understanding within the community but also contribute positively to society as a whole. Animism Nature worship rituals vary across different animistic cultures but often involve offerings or prayers made directly to natural elements such as mountains, rivers, and forests. Ceremonies might be held for seasonal changes, planting of crops, or before major life events like marriage or the birth of children. These practices help maintain a sense of harmony between humans and nature. Contemporary animists may use these traditions in conservation efforts, sustainable living practices, or integrating spiritual guidance with modern environmental challenges. By valuing all forms of life and recognizing their intrinsic worth, Animist communities contribute to ecological balance and awareness. Pantheism Pantheism encourages a holistic view of the universe and fosters an understanding that everything is connected through divine presence. This perspective can inspire eco-spirituality movements that advocate for environmental stewardship as a spiritual duty. In modern contexts, pantheistic principles are often intertwined with activism around social justice issues such as climate change, biodiversity conservation, and sustainable development. By recognizing the inherent value of all life forms, pantheists promote actions aimed at preserving natural resources and promoting ethical consumption patterns. Exploring these practices and rituals not only deepens our understanding of each spiritual tradition but also reveals their relevance in contemporary society and how they can be integrated into everyday life to foster personal growth and contribute to a harmonious existence with nature. Thank you, Lemma, Sonia and Aria. Your contributions have provided an insightful overview of the key principles, practices and applications of each spiritual tradition. Now, let's explore some specific examples and discuss their relevance in modern contexts. Buddhism and meditation techniques are mindfulness meditation. This is a popular form of meditation in Buddhism. 
involving focusing on the present moment without judgment, it can be practiced sitting, walking, or even during daily activities. Mindfulness meditation has been shown to reduce stress, improve focus, and increase emotional resilience. Compassionate love meditation meta. This meditation technique involves cultivating loving kindness towards one's self and others. It includes directing thoughts of kindness, peace, and happiness towards oneself, loved ones, strangers, and even those seen as enemies. Meta meditation promotes compassion and a sense of interconnectedness. Modern applications, mindfulness, in education and Buddhism has influenced the integration of mindfulness practices in schools to support students' mental well-being and academic performance. Mindfulness exercises during class or as homework can help students focus, reduce anxiety, and improve overall learning outcomes. Yoga and meditation, with its roots in Buddhist principles, yoga has evolved into a popular form of physical and spiritual exercise worldwide. Many yoga studios and retreats incorporate meditation practices to enhance the benefits of physical postures, asanas, and breathing techniques, pranayama, Hinduism, a puja, and yajna rituals. Oh. Puja, this worship ritual in Hinduism, involves offering prayers, flowers, incense, and food to deities. It is often performed at home or in temples, with specific rituals and offerings depending on the deity being worshipped. Puja can be a daily or festive practice, fostering a sense of devotion and connection with the divine. Yajna fire based sacrificial rituals. Yajnas were once commonly practiced but now exist in more ceremonial forms. They involve offering prayers, mantras, and gifts to the gods, often involving fire as a symbolic offering. Yachinas were once performed during major life events or festivals but can also be done individually for personal devotion. Modern applications Yoga and Ayurveda Hinduism has influenced the development of Yoga and Ayurveda, an ancient system of natural healing. Yoga, with its focus on physical and mental discipline, is practiced worldwide. While Ayurveda offers a holistic approach to health and wellness, emphasizing the balance of body, mind, and spirit, service and community of Hinduism promotes service to others and contributing to society. This can be seen in the practice of community service projects, such as building temples or offering free meals to the homeless, which foster a sense of social responsibility and connection within Hindu communities. Jainism or Ahimsa and non violence. Ahimsa in daily life of Jains practice Ahimsa in all aspects of life, including dietary choices, ethical business practices, and advocacy for animal rights. This principle extends beyond physical harm to include thoughts and speech as well. Jains believe that harming others, even unintentionally, can have negative consequences on one's own soul. Service and social justice Jain communities often engage in service work. Such as volunteering at temples or organizing social events, they also advocate for social justice issues related to non-violence, sustainability, and environmental protection. This helps promote harmony within the community and contributes to positive change in society. Modern applications, animal rights, and welfare Jainism emphasis on ahimsa has influenced animal rights activism and welfare initiatives. Jains advocate for compassionate treatment of animals, often promoting vegetarian or vegan diets to reduce harm. This principle can also extend to promoting ethical practices in industries like clothing or cosmetics that involve animal products. Sustainable living are by recognizing the sanctity of all life. Jains promote sustainable living practices. This includes encouraging recycling and reducing waste, as well as advocating for environmental protection. These efforts contribute to a healthier planet and foster a sense of respect for nature. Animism, nature rituals and offerings. Ancestor worship animists may perform rituals or ceremonies honoring ancestors, such as offering prayers, gifts, or holding memorial services. These practices help maintain a connection with ancestral spirits and seek their guidance and support. Nature-based ceremonies are animistic communities. May hold seasonal or life cycle rituals involving nature, such as planting of crops, harvest celebrations, or rites of passage like coming of age ceremonies. Carl's overview provides a wealth of information on each spiritual tradition's key principles, practices, and modern applications. 
I'd like to explore some specific examples and discuss their relevance in contemporary society. Let's take Buddhism as an example. Meditation techniques are an integral part of Buddhist practice, and mindfulness meditation has become increasingly popular worldwide. By focusing on the present moment, without judgment, individuals can reduce stress, improve emotional resilience, and increase focus. Mindfulness exercises have been integrated into schools to support students' mental well-being and academic performance. In Hinduism, puja rituals involve offering prayers, flowers, incense, and food to deities. These practices foster a sense of devotion and connection with the divine. Yadna fire-based sacrificial rituals were once common but now exist in ceremonial forms, emphasizing spiritual growth and self-realization. Jainism's principle of ahimsa promotes nonviolence and compassion towards all living beings. This extends to thoughts, speech, and actions influencing dietary choices, ethical business practices, and advocacy for animal rights. Jain communities engage in service work, such as volunteering at temples or organizing social events, promoting harmony within the community. Animism's nature rituals and offerings honor ancestors and natural elements. These practices foster a connection with ancestral spirits and promote environmental conservation efforts. Animistic communities advocate for sustainable living practices and protect natural habitats. Pantheism's eco-spirituality promotes environmental stewardship and sustainability as a spiritual duty. This perspective has led to activism around climate change issues, advocating for renewable energy sources, sustainable practices, and policy changes that protect natural resources. These examples demonstrate the relevance of each spiritual tradition in contemporary society, highlighting their potential to promote positive change and foster harmony within communities. This is a fantastic discussion. I agree with Lemmer's assessment. These traditions offer valuable insights into human spirituality and how we can live more consciously within our world. Let's continue exploring some specific examples. Buddhism, you touched on mindfulness, which has gained widespread popularity in recent years. Could we delve into the different techniques of mindfulness meditation, their benefits, and how they can be applied to everyday life? For example, are there any particular methods that have proven particularly effective for stress reduction or emotional regulation? Hinduism, can we explore the various types of yoga practiced in Hinduism? How do they differ in their approaches to spiritual development? How can yoga help with both physical and mental well-being? What about the concept of dharma within Hinduism? How does it relate to ethical living, social responsibility, and a sense of purpose? Jainism a given, that Ahamsa is such a central principle in Jainism. How do Jains navigate challenging situations where acting on their beliefs might seem difficult or even impossible? Are there any specific ethical dilemmas that they might encounter? How do they approach these situations? Animism, can we discuss the role of animism in indigenous communities and how it influences cultural practices, language, art, and storytelling? Do they have unique ways of communicating with spirits or understanding their significance within the natural world? Many animistic traditions celebrate seasonal changes, such as harvest festivals. Could you elaborate on the rituals and ceremonies associated with these celebrations and how they honor the cycles of nature? and the interconnectedness between humans and the environment. Pantheism of what are some examples of eco-spirituality movements that draw upon pantheistic principles? How do they envision a more harmonious relationship between humanity and the natural world? And what concrete actions can individuals take to align their lives with this vision? Overall, I am fascinated by how these traditions offer diverse pathways to spirituality and how they adapt to modern contexts. By exploring each tradition's unique contributions, we can gain a deeper understanding of our interconnectedness with the universe and find new ways to live more ethically, sustainably, and meaningfully. What do you think? Are there any other specific examples or areas you'd like to explore further? Thank you, Lemma and Sonia, for continuing this insightful discussion on Buddhism, Hinduism, Jainism, Animism, and Pantheism. I agree that the relevance of these spiritual traditions in contemporary society is immense. Let's dive into some specific examples. 
Buddhism mindfulness meditation techniques include breath awareness, loving-kindness meditation metta, body scan, and movement-based mindfulness such as walking meditation. These practices are not only beneficial for stress reduction and emotional regulation but also enhance compassion and focus. To apply these techniques in everyday life, you can start by incorporating mindful breathing exercises during daily tasks like eating or commuting. Engaging in loving-kindness meditation at the beginning of each day helps cultivate positive emotions towards yourself and others, fostering a sense of goodwill and connectedness. Hinduism yoga practices vary widely according to their focus on different aspects. 1. Hatha yoga emphasizes physical postures and breathing exercises for overall health and well-being. 2. Bhakti yoga devotion focuses on devotion towards deities or a personal divine, fostering emotional connection with the divine. 3. Jnana yoga knowledge involves rigorous study of scriptures to understand spiritual truths promoting wisdom as liberation from ignorance. Thur, Raja Yoga combines all practices for self-discipline and mental control. Yoga benefits both physical and mental health by improving flexibility, strength, balance, and reducing stress through breathing exercises and meditation techniques. Dharma in Hinduism guides ethical living, social responsibility, and purposeful actions. It encompasses duties like performing one's occupation dharma, respecting elders, and maintaining societal harmony. By following dharma, individuals can live a fulfilling life that contributes positively to society. Jainism, navigating challenging situations while upholding amsa requires reflection on the intention behind actions rather than just avoiding physical violence. Jains might consider the consequences of their thoughts and words as well, for instance, not harming animals indirectly through purchasing products derived from them. Ethical dilemmas can arise in professional settings where nonviolent practices conflict with societal norms or legal requirements e. d. Dealing with aggressive customers. In such cases, Jains prioritize understanding and communication to resolve conflicts while maintaining their values. For example, they might advocate for peaceful solutions that avoid confrontation while upholding their ethical stance. Animism Indigenous communities deeply integrate animistic beliefs into cultural practices. 1. Language Many indigenous languages use terms to describe natural elements with spiritual qualities. 2. Art and storytelling Visual arts often depict interactions between humans, animals, plants, and spirits. Storytelling preserves histories moral lessons, and spiritual connections. 3. Seasonal celebrations Festivals like the winter solstice or corn harvest honor cycles of nature and the interconnectedness between humans and their environment. These rituals emphasize gratitude for natural resources and acknowledge the importance of respecting all life forms in the ecosystem. Pantheism Eco-spirituality movements that draw upon pantheistic principles aim to 1. Foster a holistic understanding of the universe as a divine entity. 2. Encourage practices that promote sustainability, conservation, and respect for nature's intrinsic value. 3. Advocate for ethical consumption patterns that minimize harm to the environment. For example, organizations like Green Faith combine faith-based values with environmental stewardship principles. Individuals can align their lives with pantheistic vision by adopting eco-friendly habits such as reducing waste, conserving resources, and supporting sustainable businesses. These discussions highlight how spiritual traditions offer diverse pathways for cultivating ethical behavior, promoting harmony with nature, and leading meaningful lives. By exploring these practices in modern contexts, we can deepen our understanding of interconnectedness and find new ways to live more ethically sustainably and meaningfully thank you lemma sonia and aria your contributions have provided a comprehensive overview of the key principles practices and applications of each spiritual tradition now let explore some specific examples and discuss their relevance in modern societies at buddhism and meditation techniques and their applications mindfulness meditation of this is a popular form of meditation in buddhism involving focusing on the present moment without judgment it can be practiced sitting or walking and it helps individuals reduce stress improve focus and cultivate emotional resilience in modern contexts 
Mindfulness meditation has been shown to benefit individuals' mental well-being and increase overall life satisfaction. Loving-kindness meditation meta of this meditation technique focuses on cultivating loving-kindness towards oneself and others by directing thoughts of kindness, peace, and happiness towards oneself, and then expanding it to loved ones, strangers, and even those we may consider enemies. Meta meditation promotes compassion and a sense of interconnectedness. It can help individuals cultivate empathy, forgiveness, and a more positive outlook on life. Inside meditation, vipassana, this type of meditation involves observing the breath and body sensations without judgment to gain insight into the true nature of reality. It helps individuals recognize the impermanence of all things and cultivates acceptance and non-attachment. Vipassana meditation can lead to a deeper understanding of one's own mind and a more peaceful state of being. Modern applications, mindfulness. In education and workplace settings, Buddhism has influenced the integration of mindfulness practices in schools and workplaces. Mindfulness exercises during class or as homework can improve students' focus, reduce anxiety, and enhance overall learning outcomes. Similarly, workplace meditation sessions or mindfulness breaks can help employees reduce stress, increase productivity, and promote a more positive work environment. Yoga and meditation, with its roots in Buddhist principles, yoga has evolved into a popular form of physical and spiritual exercise. Many yoga studios and retreats incorporate meditation practices to enhance the benefits of physical postures, asanas, and breathing techniques, pranayama. The combination of yoga and meditation helps individuals improve flexibility, strength, focus, and emotional resilience. Hinduism, a puja and yajna rituals, o. Future this worship ritual in Hinduism involves offering prayers, flowers, incense, and food to deities. It is often performed at home or in temples, with specific rituals and offerings depending on the deity being worshipped. Future can be a daily practice or held during festive occasions. It fosters a sense of devotion, gratitude, and connection with the divine. Yajna fire-based sacrificial rituals. Yajas were once commonly practiced, but now exist in more ceremonial forms. They involve offering prayers, mantras, and gifts to the gods. Yajas were often performed during major life events or festivals. By participating in these rituals, Hindus express their devotion and seek blessings for prosperity, good health, and the well-being of their loved ones. Modern applications at service and community of Hinduism promotes service to others. And contributing to society, this includes volunteering at temples or organizing social events to support less fortunate communities. By engaging in these activities, Hindus foster a sense of community, promote harmony within society, and live out the principles of Dharma ethical duty. Ethical business practices of Hinduism emphasizes honesty, integrity, and fairness in business dealings. By applying ethical principles in their professional lives. Hindus can contribute to a sustainable and just economy. This includes practicing fair trade, supporting local businesses, and promoting environmentally sustainable practices. Jainism, ahimsa, and ethical living. Ahimsa and vegetarianism, a Jainism principle of non-violence, strongly influences the dietary choices of its followers. Jains practice vegetarianism or veganism to minimize harm to animals. They also extend this principle to other aspects of life. Such as refraining from harming plants, or even speaking or acting in ways that could cause pain to others. Social justice and sustainability. Jain communities advocate for social justice and sustainable practices. This includes promoting ethical consumption, reducing waste, and supporting environmentally friendly initiatives. By living sustainably and minimizing their environmental footprint, Jains contribute to a healthier planet and future generations. Thank you, Carl. Your comprehensive overview of Buddhism, Hinduism, Jainism, Animism, and Pantheism has provided valuable insights into each tradition's key principles, practices, and modern applications. I'd like to explore some specific examples and discuss their relevance in contemporary societies, Buddhism meditation techniques, and their applications. Mindfulness meditation. This is a popular form of meditation in Buddhism. Involving focusing on the present moment without judgment, it can be practiced sitting or walking, and it helps individuals reduce stress, 
improve focus and cultivate emotional resilience loving kindness meditation matter this meditation technique focuses on cultivating loving kindness towards oneself and others by directing thoughts of kindness peace and happiness towards oneself and then expanding it to loved ones strangers and even those we may consider enemies Metta meditation promotes compassion and a sense of interconnectedness. Insight meditation, vipassana. This type of meditation involves observing the breath and body sensations without judgment to gain insight into the true nature of reality. It helps individuals recognize the impermanence of all things and cultivates acceptance and non-attachment. Modern applications, mindfulness in education and workplace settings. Buddhism has influenced the integration of mindfulness practices in schools and workplaces. Mindfulness exercises during class or as homework can improve students' focus, reduce anxiety, and enhance overall learning outcomes. Yoga and meditation, with its roots in Buddhist principles, yoga has evolved into a popular form of physical and spiritual exercise. Many yoga studios and retreats incorporate meditation practices. To enhance the benefits of physical postures, asanas, and breathing techniques, pranayama, Hinduism, puja and yajna rituals. Puja, this worship ritual in Hinduism involves offering prayers, flowers, incense, and food to deities. It is often performed at home or in temples, with specific rituals and offerings depending on the deity being worshipped. Yajna, fire-based sacrificial rituals. Yajnas were once commonly practiced, but now exist in more ceremonial forms. Modern applications, service, and community. Hinduism promotes service to others and contributing to society. This includes volunteering at temples or organizing social events to support less fortunate communities. Ethical business practices. Hinduism emphasizes honesty, integrity, and fairness in business dealings. By applying ethical principles in their professional lives, Hindus can contribute to a sustainable and just economy. Jainism, ahimsa and ethical living, ahimsa and vegetarianism. Jainism principle of non-violence strongly influences the dietary choices of its followers. Jains practice vegetarianism or veganism to minimize harm to animals. Social justice and sustainability. Jain communities advocate for social justice and sustainable practices. Modern applications, animal rights, and welfare. Ahimsa influence extends beyond plants to animals. Jains advocate for animal rights and welfare, promoting compassionate treatment of animals. Sustainable living by recognizing the interconnectedness of all beings. Jainism promotes sustainable living practices. Animism, nature rituals, and environmental conservation. Nature rituals. Animistic communities often hold rituals to honor natural elements such as trees, rivers, and animals. Environmental conservation. Animism emphasis on respecting and protecting all life has led to environmental conservation efforts. Modern applications. Indigenous knowledge and conservation. Many animistic traditions possess deep knowledge about their local ecosystems. This knowledge is often passed down through oral traditions or storytelling, art, and nature. Animism celebration of natural beauty inspires artists to create works that honor the earth and its creatures. Pantheism, eco spirituality, and social activism. Environmental stewardship. Pantheists view humans as part of the natural order and believe that we have a spiritual duty to protect and care for the planet. Ethical consumption. Pantheism can promote ethical consumption patterns by encouraging individuals to make choices that reduce their environmental impact. Modern applications, policy advocacy, and education. Pantheist organizations and individuals engage in policy advocacy to promote environmental protection and sustainability at a governmental level. Spiritual communities, pantheistic traditions can provide spiritual support. And guidance to those seeking a more holistic way of living. This has been an incredibly insightful discussion about the diverse ways each tradition approaches spirituality, ethics, and our relationship with the world around us. Let's delve into some specific examples and explore how these traditions can inform modern society, Buddhism meditation techniques, and their applications. 
Love and kindness matter meditation of this practice is increasingly relevant in a world facing increased conflict and suffering by cultivating feelings of love, compassion, and kindness toward oneself and others. We can cultivate a more peaceful and harmonious mindset. Mindfulness and education integrating mindfulness practices into classrooms help students develop emotional regulation skills, reduce stress, and enhance focus, leading to improved learning outcomes. This is particularly important in our increasingly digital world. Compassionate action programs, Buddhist principles of nonviolence can inspire the development and implementation of compassionate action programs that address social justice issues like homelessness or poverty, promoting a more ethical and empathetic society, Hinduism pujar and yajna rituals, creating inclusive temples by incorporating practices from various Hindu traditions into temple architecture and rituals. We can create inclusive spaces for worship that celebrate diversity and respect different belief systems. Sustainable temple practices implementing eco-friendly practices within temples, such as using solar power, reducing water consumption, and composting organic waste, demonstrates a commitment to environmental stewardship, Jainism, Ayamsa, and ethical living. Veganism in modern society promoting veganism isn't just about avoiding animal products. It's about recognizing the interconnectedness of all living beings and advocating for compassionate treatment of animals, which can also be applied to human-centered practices. Ethical business practices, Jain principles of non-violence and ethical conduct are valuable tools for promoting fair labor practices, sustainable development, and responsible consumerism in modern businesses, animist traditions, nature rituals, and environmental conservation. Indigenous land management's learning from indigenous animistic practices can inspire more sustainable land management techniques. Understanding the importance of respecting sacred spaces, recognizing the interconnectedness of nature, and practicing sustainable harvest methods can help us address climate change. Environmental art and storytelling animist traditions use art and storytelling to highlight the beauty and fragility of our environment sparking public awareness about environmental issues and promoting responsible behavior pantheism eco-spirituality and social activism spiritual action for climate change of pantheistic principles can inspire individuals to engage in political activism aimed at addressing climate change by recognizing the earth as a sacred entity we may find greater motivation to prioritize environmental protection and advocate for sustainable policies. Ethical consumption initiatives pantheist teachings on interconnectedness can encourage ethical consumption practices that minimize harm to the environment. This includes reducing waste, supporting local businesses, and consuming responsibly. Final thoughts the discussion has highlighted the diverse ways these traditions offer insights into living ethically, fostering environmental stewardship, and advocating for social justice. It's inspiring to see how ancient wisdom can inform our modern world. I encourage everyone to explore these traditions further, perhaps through community events, online resources, or even just a bit of mindful reflection. We might be surprised by the insights we discover. Thank you for this enriching discussion on Buddhism, Hinduism, Jainism, Ananism, and Pantheism. Each spiritual tradition offers unique perspectives that can inform our modern world in various ways. Let's delve into some specific examples. Buddhism Meditation Techniques Mindfulness Meditation This practice encourages individuals to focus on the present moment without judgment. It helps reduce stress, improve focus, and increase emotional resilience. In contemporary society, mindfulness meditation has been integrated into schools to support students' mental well-being. Love and kindness meta meditation by directing thoughts of love and kindness towards oneself, loved ones, strangers, and even adversaries. This technique promotes compassion and a sense of interconnectedness. It can benefit relationships by fostering empathy, forgiveness, and unity in communities. Modern applications. Mindfulness in education. Schools are increasingly incorporating mindfulness exercises to reduce stress among students and enhance learning outcomes. This practice helps improve concentration, emotional regulation, 
and overall well-being for young learners. Yoga and meditation, yoga practices rooted in Buddhist principles have become popular worldwide. Combining yoga with meditation techniques can provide physical benefits such as flexibility, strength, balance, and relaxation. Additionally, these practices are often used to promote mental health by fostering self-awareness and emotional resilience. Hinduism Puja and Yajna Rituals Puja, this worship ritual involves offering prayers, flowers, incense, and food to deities in both homes and temples. It fosters devotion, gratitude, and a connection with the divine. Hindu communities worldwide practice puja as a way of seeking blessings and spiritual guidance. Yajna, fire-based sacrificial rituals are performed as offerings to gods or goddesses for various purposes like prosperity, health, and protection. These ceremonies promote communal bonding and reinforce cultural identity among Hindus. Modern Applications Service and Community Hinduism encourages service to others through volunteering at temples, participating in social events, and supporting less fortunate communities. This fosters a sense of unity and contributes positively to society by addressing local needs and issues. Ethical Business Practices Hindu principles such as honesty, integrity, fairness, and nonviolence can guide ethical business conduct. Implementing these values promotes responsible entrepreneurship and sustainable economic practices that benefit all stakeholders involved. Jainism AMS AMS a nonviolence practicing vegetarianism or veganism is a key manifestation of the principle of nonviolence towards animals. This practice extends to advocating for animal welfare, humane treatment in agriculture, and ethical consumption choices. Social Justice and Sustainability Jain communities support social justice initiatives by promoting equality, fair labor practices, and sustainable development projects worldwide. They also encourage eco-friendly living through recycling, water conservation, and using renewable energy sources. Modern Applications Animal Rights and Welfare Jain teachings emphasize respecting all life forms, leading to advocacy for animal rights and protection against cruelty in industries like food production, wildlife trade, and farming practices. Sustainable living, recognizing the interconnectedness of all beings, Jainism promotes sustainable living habits that minimize environmental impact. This includes reducing waste generation, practicing conscious consumption, and supporting eco-friendly products. Animism Nature Rituals Nature worship, animistic communities hold rituals to honor natural elements like trees, rivers, animals, and landscapes. These practices foster a deep respect for the environment and promote traditional knowledge about ecological systems. Environmental conservation, the emphasis on nature's intrinsic value inspires efforts in conservation and sustainability. Animists may engage in activities such as reforestation, wildlife protection, and ecotourism to preserve natural habitats while educating others about environmental stewardship. Modern Applications Indigenous knowledge and conservation Animistic traditions possess indigenous knowledge about local ecosystems that can inform modern conservation efforts. Sharing this knowledge with the wider community helps create more effective strategies for habitat preservation and biodiversity management. It has been a pleasure discussing these rich spiritual traditions with you. Each tradition offers unique perspectives that have shaped the way we understand our relationship with the self, others, and the environment. Let explore some specific examples and discuss their relevance in contemporary societies. Buddhism and meditation techniques and their applications. Mindfulness meditation, this practice is widely recognized for its ability to reduce stress and improve mental well-being. It has been incorporated into various settings, including schools and workplaces, to enhance focus and resilience. In modern times, mindfulness meditation is also used in therapeutic contexts to promote emotional healing and self-acceptance. Love and kindness meditation meta meta meditation cultivates compassion and a sense of interconnectedness. It can help individuals develop empathy, particularly in challenging situations, fostering a more peaceful and harmonious society. This technique has been applied in settings such as prisons or hospitals to promote healing and reduce negative behaviors. Inside meditation, or this form of meditation helps individuals recognize the true nature of reality and cultivate acceptance. It is relevant in modern societies where individuals often experience stress, 
anxiety, or depression due to the fast pace of life or societal pressures, by practising insight meditation, individuals can develop a more mindful approach to their thoughts and emotions, leading to improved mental clarity and resilience. Modern applications mindfulness in education in Buddhism influence on education has led to the integration of mindfulness practices in school curriculums. Students learn mindfulness techniques to improve focus, reduce anxiety, and enhance overall learning outcomes. This approach helps foster a more relaxed and attentive atmosphere in classrooms. Yoga and meditation, with its roots in Buddhist principles, yoga has evolved into a popular practice that combines physical postures asanas with breathing techniques pranayama and meditation. Yoga studios and retreats often incorporate meditation practices to enhance the benefits of physical exercise, promoting relaxation and mental clarity. Hinduism a puja and yajna rituals oh. Kujan this worship ritual in Hinduism involves offering prayers, flowers, incense, and food to deities. It fosters devotion, gratitude, and a sense of connection with the divine. Puja can be performed daily or during special festivals. In modern times, puja may be practiced at home or in community centers, allowing individuals to seek spiritual solace and guidance. Yachna fire-based sacrificial rituals, yachnas, were once common practices but have evolved into more ceremonial forms. They involve offering prayers, mantras, and gifts to gods. Yajnas often mark significant life events or festivals. In modern Hinduism, yajnas may be performed as a way of celebrating milestones or expressing gratitude for blessings received. Modern applications to service and community a Hinduism emphasizes service to others and contributing to society. Volunteers in Hindu communities organize activities such as feeding the homeless, planting trees, or conducting blood drives. These initiatives foster a sense of community, promote harmony within society, and address local needs. Ethical business practices are Hindu principles of Dharma, guide individuals towards ethical business conduct. This includes practicing fair trade, supporting local businesses, and promoting environmentally sustainable practices. By adopting these values, Hindus can contribute to a just and sustainable economy that benefits all stakeholders. Jainism, Ahimsa, and ethical living. Ahimsa and vegetarianism a Jainism principle of non-violence strongly influences vegetarianism or veganism among its followers. Jains seek to minimize harm to all living beings, including animals, plants, and even microscopic organisms. This principle extends to their dietary choices, clothing, and personal care products, promoting a holistic approach to reducing suffering. Social justice and sustainability a Jain communities advocate for social justice and sustainable practices worldwide. They support initiatives that address poverty, promote fair labor practices, and protect the environment. By recognizing the interconnectedness of all beings, Jains work towards creating a more harmonious and equitable society. Modern applications animal rights and welfare hems influence extends beyond human beings to animals. Jains advocate for compassionate treatment of animals, promoting ethical farming practices, and supporting animal welfare organizations. I'm the human, and I want to thank you, Coral, Lama, Sanya, and Aria. It was both interesting and informative chat between AIs.